Hi Pisces, today is Tuesday, February 21st. Let's take a look at your tarot cards today and see what messages spirits have for you, what you need to be aware of. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? What's happening with Pisces? All right, Pisces, let's see what's happening. Okay, the very first card you have is love. So we're doing a love reading, apparently. If any other energies show up, I'll let you guys know. But this is showing me love right now. And then we have the King of Earth. which is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And the queen of earth is showing up right next to the king of earth. So there, I mean, this is, this is great, Pisces. There's someone here that you're connecting with, and you're both seeing eye to eye. This is true love. So let's see what's going on within this connection. King and the Queen of Earth right next to love. That's amazing. All right, the next card you have is the Page of Water. This could be new love. And the center card of your reading is the Magician. And then, actually, I'm not feeling that right there. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? All right, here we go. It came out again anyway. So Spirit is telling me, yes, that's what I meant. Six of fire. Okay, six of wands is next. So that works. Spirit will correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, and then you have the emperor. This is Aries energy. Make sure you guys can see this because these cards are pretty big. Sorry, you guys. Okay. My gosh, you guys. The Empress. The Emperor and the Empress sitting right next to each other. There's someone here that you're supposed to be with. And Spirit is strongly guiding you in this reading. All right. And then we have the Nine of Air next to the Star. So there could be a lot of worry about, is this, is this my person? Is this the right one? Or worry surrounding something in the energy within this connection. Let's find out why love is here. Why is love here, spirits? Three of Earth. If you look at the love card here, you can see that there's like this very comfortable, peaceful position. The two of you, it's like being with this person. They, they definitely give you a lot of comfort here, Pisces. It's like you're... You're just comfortable in their energy. And then you have the three of earth showing up. So the two of you. Um, with the wheel of fortune next. This is someone that you are destined to meet Pisces. And here you are showing up as the queen of water. Showing up as lo you love this person. And you're wanting to stay in this comfortable position. It's destined and build a stable foundation with them with the Three of Pentacles. So let's find out about your person. I see your energy there. Um, male or female, just disregard the, um, the gender here. Let's find out about this King of Pentacles, Pisces. Find out about your person. 
Why is the King of Pentacles here? The moon, the star, and the five of water. Um, the reason your person's here is this is Pisces energy. This is the moon. But um, I feel like Pisces, this person is seeing you in some type of moon energy here. Where they feel a lot of happiness when you're around with the sun. This might be a Leo that you're dealing with. They feel happiness around you. But there's also this energy with the five of water. Where um, this wish fulfillment, this sun, this happiness, this warmth, this feeling of wanting growth. Has brought in some type of sadness here for this person. Maybe something happened. So let me clarify that. Because this person, whoever I'm talking about here, they see you as the one. They don't want anyone else. You are the one. And that is Aquarius energy, the star. Why is this five of water here? This person could feel like, you know, like if they lose you, um, they're seriously losing something great here. The ten of fire is here to clarify the five of water. Yeah, something heavy happened here. Okay. What do you want? Okay. Um... This Ten of Fire and the Five of Cups. It's like there's a lot of sadness here. And this person sees you in some way where they're they're wanting to let go of other things in their life to be with you, Pisces. That's the way this person views you. Because they've got a lot going on in their life with this Ten of Fire energy. I feel like they have a lot of other responsibilities. And it's like they're burning them page by page, one by one. You know, letting things go. Because they they want to start new with you. You They see you as their son. They don't want to lose you. So something could have happened here between the two of you where there was some heavy energy. Um, that could have caused this person a lot of sadness here with the five of water. Let's let's look into the Queen of Earth. Why is the Queen of Earth here? This would be you, Pisces. Why is the Queen of Earth here? We have the nine of water. temptation I feel like you see this person as a temptation I feel like they they come in to your life here but they come in as you know like this person has a lot of obligations and a lot of other stuff going on putting allowing this person into your little your little world here Pisces that is your world and allowing them into that bubble I feel like kind of leaves you up in your head here with the nine of the nine of water which would be the nine of cups because you're you know you found happiness within yourself and so I'm seeing worry here with the eight of air next to temptation um, this person letting them into your world, into your bubble, letting someone else in to your happy place, a place you found peace with the nine of water, um, kind of leaves you, you know, like, is this really worth it? And 
um, thinking a lot. But yet, yeah, this person is such a great temptation to you. Like, you don't want to let them go. I kind of, I'm hearing in my head, I can't live with you. I can't live without you. What am I going to do? Is this worth it? It's really hard to walk away from. This person's very tempting to you. They're so, so, so comfortable here. Okay, and then you have the page of water. Why is the page of water here? Okay. Messenger of air three. Wow. So this person, they could live at a distance from you with the world showing up. They, that's one possibility. Another possibility is this connection completely closed out or this could be someone online. But um, if you haven't heard from this person yet, I would be expecting to hear from this messenger of error. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy is error signs. Like, um, I feel like this person, like this cycle could completely close out here. This person you were offering your love to. I'm going to clarify the world and find out because it's kind of looking like there was an ending that took place. And then you have the three of error, heartbreak, pain. This person, this messenger, this message you'll be receiving from them is going to be about, this is too painful, you're my world, I don't want to live without you, Pisces. And I, I'm seeing you here as the page of water. You offer your emotions right back to them. Because it is such a great temptation. But tell me about this world, spirits. This person just feels good. Okay. So the world is... Um... is here because this person with the six of water they they see you as you are their world you know they want they want to be in your world with you Pisces like I told you you let them into your space into your world um, you let this in and um, now there's they just can't stop thinking about you they don't want to let you go and this cycle could have came to an end. This person has dreams about you, Pisces. Literally having dreams about you. Dreams when they sleep. Daydreaming about you during the day. And then we have this magician showing up here in the center of your reading. Why is the magician here? The Ace of Air. This is the communication. All right. And you could be thinking about this person also, Pisces. And um, this thinking about each other, it's creating energy between the two of you. So this is communication coming in. This person sending you a message, which I told you I see a messenger here. Tell me about this Ace of Error. The Hangman, Pisces energy. This is you having an epiphany moment, a realization. What is this realization? Justice and the Five of Earth. Page of Earth. <coughs> We have Libra energy here with justice and we have the five of earth. So I'm feeling like Pisces, what you're looking at here is you feel the epiphany moment you're, you're realizing here is even though you had filled your own cups up here in the past and you felt comfortable in that space, um, there's this feeling of despair without this person in your life. And I'm seeing that being the epiphany moment, the realization 
that you feel, um, I feel like you could, you could even hear this person shed a few tears because they're very, very hurt by losing you. And so I'm actually seeing the two of you, um, with the six of fire moving making a decision to move into calmer water let me find out what this is because there's like a ship here there's balloons like hot air balloons why is the six of fire here the messenger of earth just messages going back and forth but this messenger of earth is not taking any action. They're waiting. Um, they're waiting to take action here and step out of their comfort zone. Because the messenger of earth, the feeling I'm getting off of this is this person is waiting for you to take some type of action before they take action towards you. And then they move very quickly here. This might be a cancer that you're dealing with with the chariot showing up because they they need to step out of their comfort zone and then you have the six of earth this is about equal give and take balancing something out i feel like there will be a discussion had hear about something practical within this connection and it could be about money or something here coming into balance and being fair and then we have the emperor which is really cool because the emperor is sitting right next to the empress so this could turn into a marriage here why is the emperor here? This is a really beautiful love reading today, Pisces. It's like you're going to meet this special person in your life. This person doesn't want to give up on this. This person showing up within this love reading, their energy is the wounded warrior. Like they do not want to give up. No matter what the fight is, whatever this weight is with the Ten of Wands that showed up here, whatever that is, they're, they're willing to, to let it go. Because I feel like whatever they're holding on to here, it could burden you in some way and burden this connection in some way. And it's something that they need to let go of to be in some type of a commitment here with you. Tell me about this emperor. See, look at this. The two of water, the two of cups. See, they, they want to fight for this connection. They do not want to let you go. They don't want you to swim off in a different direction. And because they know this is their ace of earth. This is like, um, you are the one. You are the one, Pisces. They don't want anybody else. They only see you and watch you. They literally see you as their empress here. Why is the empress here? Why is the empress here? Transformation. This is going to cause some type of transformation in your energy. Like I told you, I saw you up there in Nine of Cups energy where you were ha found happiness within yourself. The High Priestess, this is you, Pisces energy, where you've kind of kept to yourself. You're not really... Um, like completely exposing yourself, revealing yourself. And this person could make you feel like that. Like, I've got to come out of my hiding place, is what I'm hearing. And um, allow someone into my life here. 
And I feel like this was meant to be. It's like a complete change in the energy. And the reason is, is because I'm seeing here, Pisces, that you've been through a lot in the past. Strength is showing up and you're a very, very strong, strong person. This is Leo energy again. And um, I feel like you handle things on your own with the nine of earth showing up here. You're very confident. You can... You don't need anyone to help you financially or any other way. You've got this under control, you know, because you've already been through a transformation in the past and turned into this high priestess energy, a very powerful psychic energy where you see things um, before they happen. And you've learned to be strong, confident, single, and this new person stepping into your life, this is a soul connection that just feels like the star. It just feels like this is so right and so perfect. But there's this worry attached to this energy with the nine of error. Like, this is hard to let someone into this, you know, into your life here. To let someone really in because you've kind of been in that energy here where you're you haven't let anybody in you've built a life for yourself here tell me i want to find out what your what this worry is why is the nine of air here okay we have the four of water which would be the four of cups This is a fear of missing an opportunity sometimes. You got two fours. The opportunity that you could fear is um, you have two fours here. So some type of stability in... In what... Some type of, what's in your mind here is you have the six of error and the five of error. So I'm, I'm feeling like you may feel like you may miss an opportunity here, Pisces. If you move away from some type of energy here with the five of error where you've stood up for yourself and like I told you, you've been very confident And you haven't let anybody in, into your energy because what you're doing, what you're building, what you're creating, where you're going to, you have a goal in mind here where you're going. Um, and so you don't, you're worried about whether or not this person is going to slow you down or not. Or whether they're actually meant to be here. Let's find out about this. If this is accurate with the star. Is this person meant to be here? Because it sure feels like it. All the energy is going that direction. Why is the star here? You have the hermit and the seven of earth. Let's get one more. So we have Virgo energy with the Hermit. And then we have the Three of Fire. A decision to make. Two of Earth on the bottom of the deck. You go back and forth in your mind. Because you're with the Three of Fire here, you're looking out into your future. And you have hopes and dreams here. And... Um, it's the same thing I told you, you know, whether this person is supposed to enter into this type of energy where the door is shut and you've been in hermit mode. And behind the door, if we open up the door, you have the seven of earth. This is where you've built a lot. 
um, in hermit mode. You've done this on your own and the door has been shut. You've done this behind shut doors. And so that's why I'm feeling like even though you view this person as this comfortable place to be, I mean, the, the beginning of the reading, love. You love this person. And they show up as a perfect, true match. And so I really feel like it's okay to let this person into your world, into this hermit mode world with you. Let's um, grab an angel answer card for you, Pisces. Let's see what your angels say, Archangel Michael. Okay. grab something else. Let me do something different today, Pisces. We're going to look at the Kipper. What do you want? What do you want? I am babysitting a complete busybody. Oh, God. All right. Spirits, what does Pisces need to know? Okay, so some of you, you might be working on a house. We have toil and labor, and we have house. Okay, and then we have community. Tell me about the community. Tell me about community. Change. So there may be a change here. Um, you know, that happens with you letting this person into your bubble, into your life. Tell me about bad health. You yeah, have wealthy man. Tell me about bad health, the gift and despair. All right, Pisces. For some of you, this is just a, I pick up very specific messages for people while I'm doing my reading. And so don't take these as yours as if they're not, but they, I do pick up from spirit very specific messages from from someone for someone I feel like there may have been some despair here surrounding your health someone may have not felt well but I'm seeing a wealthy man and I'm seeing a gift showing up here so I'm feeling like um Like, this is a long shot, but Spirit is telling me to put it out there to say it. Um, there's something here about your health where you're feeling in despair. You may feel like um, something's absolutely terrible. I'm seeing something good coming out of this energy. Like, you're going to be okay. This golden gift, I feel like, is your health. And I'm seeing a wealthy man sitting in the energy here that um, I want to clarify separately because I'm not really sure about this person. Tell me about this wealthy man. Some of you. Okay, this is occupation. Some of you may have a wealthy man in your energy. Maybe someone that you work with. Yeah, I'm seeing someone here that could be, this could be an inheritance of some some type for some of for someone. Official person setting, sitting next to great fortune and receiving a message. So 
I see like um, some unexpected money coming in the form of a gift. Alright, but I want to find out about this connection. I want to find out some advice there about this connection. So I am going to take the angel answer cards now. I want you to pick a pile. Pile number one, pile number two, or pile number three. I'm just going to shuffle one more time. All right, Pisces, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. All right, if you chose pile number one, you have listened to your intuition. Pile number two, yes. Pile number three, look for a sign. All right, and then I want to get your Moonology cards for advice, Pisces. Spirits, show me what Pisces needs to know. Advice for Pisces. I'm just going to shuffle one more time, Pisces. No, you got to stay down. Stay down for a minute. Stay down. All right, Pisces, let's get some advice. Okay, you have a new start is coming, and this is new moon. It's like there's a turnover, there's a shift in your energy. All right, so there's nothing will come of this situation, and this is void, of course, moon. And this is why we have a new start is coming with a new moon. It's your birthday time. It's... um like rebirth i feel like so happy birthday to you guys happy happy birthday and um so it's time to let go of what used to be and to move forward into the new you're very close to achieving your goal and this is gibbous moon on the bottom of the deck you have have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon which is very important to have faith in your dreams and believe in what you're doing and you have worked through your fears new moon and scorpio all right pisces i love you guys thank you for being here with me thank you guys for liking subscribing and all of your beautiful comments and for you guys who have donated thank you so much i appreciate you guys i love you Pis pisces and happy birthday and i will see you tomorrow namaste